Hi everybody and welcome back to Space Mess Gaming. This is episode 4 of our Green Hell Survival Mode series. If you've missed the previous episodes, I will leave a link in to the playlist in the top right hand corner so you can catch up and uh, see where we are at. Um, if you do like this series, please remember to subscribe to the channel and hit that like button. Every little bit helps. Um, you're also free to comment your personal experiences, anything you might want to know about the game. Um, please do drop them in the comments down below. So, if you remember correctly from the last episode, um, we laid out the structure over the water here. We were going to build our base. I finished with the uh, structure work, as you can see, all done. Um, I've also went ahead and collected all the resources we're going to need for our building today. See bamboo logs over here, ropes, bamboo long sticks, um, also some normal bamboo sticks over here. So the plan is to put a mud slab on top of the structure so we can build a base on top of that. Now to get mud, easy enough, you just go to the uh, to the riverbank, hold right click and say take mud. Now once you do that, if you see in the top right hand corner, your notebook gets updated with mud entries. And this is all the stuff you can build with mud. Also you get under fire, you'll get a mud charcoal furnace, which we're going to need, I'll explain to you later, and a mud forge, and under water you get a mud shower, and a mud water filter. This thing we're also going to build, this is going to help us a lot and improve um, our water situation for fresh drinking water. So let's go ahead, we'll start off by building a mud mixer. So I'm going to build this as close to the water as I can. There we go. Just a little bit more. Right there. I'm going to add in sticks. Four normal sticks. I've collected a couple of firewood here as well. I'll show you why later. We're going to need that in the mud um, furnace, charcoal furnace. Right now we need logs. I've collected them. So we're just building a mud mixer. What uh, how this works is you take mud from the riverbank, put it in the mixer, you add some campfire ash to it. Campfire ash you get every time your campfire burns out. It leaves some campfire ash. It leaves you one campfire ash and uh, three charcoal pieces. So you mix that with the mud that produce mud bricks and the mud bricks you use to build on top. So we're going to take mud, put it in here. Since we started this series, every time the fire burned out, I already collected the campfire ash. So we have six here. I'll wait for that fire to burn out and I will show you the campfire ash you collect from there. So for now we can just add it in. You need to wet this mud. Um, it is currently raining, so we don't have to. If it's not raining, you can just take your, your coconut biden. That's one of the reasons why I said build as close to the river as possible. First, to get the mud into the mud mixer, and second, secondly, to get the water. You can just stand here, fill your biden, put it in the mud mixer, fill your biden, empty it into the mud mixer. So we'll mix the mud. And there's our mud bricks. Easy as that. So to build the mud slab, on the mud tab, there's a mud roof. So we'll put 
on the A, you take the mud brick, put it into the roof. Take the mud brick, put it into the roof. Now this takes, I think, seven slabs, and you only have six bricks, so we're going to have to do this over and over and over again. It is a lot of repetition, a lot of grinding to get this done. Right, so as you see, we still need one more. So you just continue. Collect mud. Put it inside your mixer. We still have campfire ash, so we'll add that. It is still raining. So the mud is nice and wet. And wait for that to fill up. We mix. Let's put in this last one. There's our first roof complete. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay out the rest. Right, so I'm going to go ahead um, and continue the process over and over and over again until this whole slab is finished. Now, like I said, for the to do this, you need campfire ash. When your fire burns out, you only get one campfire ash. So, as you can imagine, that's going to take a very long time to fill up this whole thing. We're going to build on top, and you're going to need mud for the walls as well. And for the no another roof on top of that. So, a quick and easy way to get campfire ash is to build a mud... Uh, what's it called? A charcoal furnace. So that we're going to do. Fire mud charcoal furnace. So I'm going to put it down here, out of the way, like that. So we need mud for that, obviously. So we'll put in some mud. Some mud. Now we need some sticks the fire inside. Let some over here. Some small sticks as well. Side. One neat trick, if you want to move this whole stack, instead of moving them one by one like this, you can just hold in ALT, left click and drag, and it will drag the whole stack. So then it's quick and easy. So we need some more wood. Okay, I've done this grinding part off camera. So we have most of the resources we need. So we'll stack in there. The ones that's left over will be lying somewhere outside. We'll just put them up again. mud brick to close it up. So take a mud brick, close that up. Now we need to light that fire. So as with any other fire, we use our fire drill. 
Some dry leaves. And we light it. So this thing burns more or less the same amount of time as a normal fire, like that one over there. That one over there gives us, when it burns out, it gives you one campfire ash and I think three or four pieces of charcoal. This thing on the other end, once this burns out, it gives you three campfire ash and about 15 pieces of charcoal. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep that fire burning. We're going to put all the charcoal into that fire to keep it burning. That's where we'll do all our cooking until our base is finished. And the campfire ash we'll use every time to build mud bricks. So I currently still have four. So I can do four batches of bricks over here. By the time that's finished, the furnace should be burnt out, and we'll get another three, and we can do another three batches. So, I'm gonna go on, fast forward, do this grinding part, and build the platform, and then I'll catch up with you guys once that is done, and we can continue. Right guys, so, I'm back, I've built quite a few of these roofs. So you can see we're about halfway done. I've run out of the campfire ash that I had in my backpack over here. Uh, the furnace is already burnt out. So we'll open that up and now you'll see we're going to pick up charcoal a load of charcoal, I think, like I said, about 15. Campfire ash, one, two, three. So we can do three more loads of bricks. It is still raining, so that will fill up quickly. Well, that's filling up. Let's start the furnace again. of the charcoal here so we can just easily take it and put it into the fire every time and we don't have to carry it with us all the time. So we need some more. I'll start that shortly. This is filled up. We can mix the mud. can continue. So I'll carry on with this and I'll catch up with you guys once this is done. Right guys, so I've used up all the campfire ash that I have. Um, the roof is almost done. We need one batch more. The furnace is still burning. The fire over there is stocked full of uh, charcoal so that still burn for a while, it's still raining. Um, I think I'm gonna head out and uh, let's go and see if we can find a little easter egg that's in the game. A companion we can keep at our camp. A companion called William. Now once you guys see him, you might be familiar with the character. I'm not going to spoil it for you, I'll show you once we find him. So we are currently here at the docks. 
William is all the way down here at 55.26. So we're going to come our way all along the coastline and see if we can find William and then head back. By the time we get back, hopefully the furnace is burnt out and we can finish the roof. Oh boy. Okay, I did not expect that. So we've got a Cayman. My source of meat. One headshot with an arrow and he should be dead. There we go. This fella could have given us a nasty bite. Should get some decent meat from this guy. Four pieces of meat. Alright, so we'll cook that up tonight. Got some bone there. Alright guys, so we've come to the end of the shoreline here. It should be right here on the map. There's that little mountain that we see here. Now, William should be just at the back here. And there he is. William is actually a ball. And if you remember from the movie Castaway with Tom Hanks, it represents uh, Wilson, the soccer ball with the coconut leaves and the face painted on it. So it's just, uh, you can't do anything with William. It's just a little Easter egg. Uh, just a little funny in the game. So we'll take William back to camp and then at least we have somebody to talk to during those lonely campfire nights. Alright, so we're back at the camp. Furnace is about halfway done. Found William. So we'll put William maybe right here next to the fire. Stand up, William. There we go. Add some charcoal to the fire. Just keep it burning. Add ourselves some nice black caiman steak. And let's make a soup. So we'll take our pot. Put the pot on the fire. We don't have water. Mats here we can throw away. Fill the pot with water, let that boil. Do you see it's dirty water? So we boil it and then it's fine for consumption. Once it's boiled, let's drop a Cayman steak in there, make some nice Cayman soup. How's it, William? You're hungry? 45 proteins, 20 hydration, 10 energy. We can have another sub, there's two. So we'll see what that's cooking if we maybe caught a fish. Yep, nice peacock bass. Nice. One tip for you guys is if you keep the fish intact like this, the fish and the parrots that you pick up or the parrots that you hunt, um, if you keep them intact, they don't spoil. So you can leave them here, catch a few of them, keep them until you need meat and then you cook them. Once you skin them or harvest them, then they start spoiling. We've got our meat, let's just save. Right, so we're all set, we've saved, 
William is uh, sitting there, chilling by the fire. How's it, my boy? You good? Let's carry on and uh, start building the rest of our base. So what we're going to do is we're going to build the same bamboo frames on top of each of these structures. And then we're going to wall it up on the sides and put a roof on top. So we have a nice house on top of the water here. So as before, let's start at the back here. Structures, bamboo frame. Put one there. So it won't snap, it won't snap. So put one there. Now we need to build these ones first before we can put these missing ones in. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'll fast forward this bit. Alright, so all the frames are built. Not all of them, but the ones that we could snap in. So now we would be, should be able to put in the rest. So, there, there, and there. And we continue, <coughs> just putting in all the parts that we need. So this is the last of the structure. Done. Show you from the outside what it looks like. So, whole structure built on top. Now, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to put a roof on top as well as walls. So, we're going to go and do bamboo wall. All we're going to do is patch it up like this on the sides. I think what I want to do is I want to keep this outside area as a little veranda open at the top so I'm not going to put walls on the outside um, we need a door on this side so we'll go for a doorway so we can come through the door to the outside I think at the bottom or on the outside, let's put these short holes like this, all in bamboo. Like I said, there is a lot of bamboo on the other side there. So that's going to be bamboo. I'm going to do full. walls on the inside on the outside sorry now and then in the middle I'm not gonna have anything so we're gonna have this big open area in the middle here have a little open veranda on the outside I think we can put our uh, water collector and our shower outside And what I want to do is one of these roofs I'm going to build with a um, hatch on the inside. So we're going to take mud roof, this one with the notch. So put that on top, just rotate it a bit. I think they should be fine. Put the mud roof there. 
and then just normal mud roofs on the rest. So as you can see there's a lot of grinding to be done um, to build all this mud, collect the rest of the bamboo. I've used most of the bamboo that I collected previously. So there's the roof for the inside. Outside we're going to leave open for now. I'm not too sure about the door coming in. Currently I'm jumping onto this rock to get in. I want to put a door maybe here or here. Just not too sure. You can't jump up, so we'll have to build a ladder. But I'm not too sure whether the ladder is going to fit in there. So let me finish with these walls and the roofs. And then we'll see where we're going to put the door. Maybe we'll need to put another platform in front here. Um, but we'll see. So I'm going to continue off camera. I'm going to sign off the episode here. I'm going to continue off camera. Collect um, the rest of the bamboo long sticks. We have a few left here. It's easy to put to build this. You just take the sticks, you can only carry five at a time, and we'll put them in here, and just show you what the idea is, so we'll take, how many do we need, two, four, so we'll take four, put them in, so there's the wall built, and then what we're going to do is we're going to take the mud and build a mud window so like that so then the walls is going to become mud as well all around so first we need to build the walls the bamboo structure for the walls and then we build the actual mud wall over over the bamboo so yeah there's a lot of grinding to be done a lot of bamboo to be cut down a lot of mud to be prepared um, this is going to take quite a while. So let me finish up with this off camera. And I think we'll catch it up on episode 5. And um, we can build all the furniture. Not furniture. All the, the um, stuff we're going to need outside. Like the shower, the water filter. The reason for the notch in the roof is I want to put a ladder up there and on the top of the roof I want to build planter boxes where we can grow our own um, fruits, own banana trees, fruits for nuts, etc. So we always have a constant supply of uh, food. Right, so I'm gonna continue grinding, get all the parts, build the rest of the house, build the walls, the windows, the roof, everything, and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next episode. So if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. If you do like the series, please leave a comment. Um, it's much appreciated. And uh, that's it for episode 4. Goodbye, signing out, and see you in the next episode.